Hey guys, it's your boy Ninja King, and today, guys, we're gonna learn how to draw a jack o' lantern for beginners. So, guys, the first thing what we need to draw is is this rectangular shape. So it looks just like this. Now I'll try to draw it a little bit more lighter than I am drawing it. I am drawing it dark for the tutorial. So do try to sketch and try to draw your shape a little bit lighter. So the next thing what we're gonna do is just like drawing a face, we're going to split this shape in half as you can see right here and now we're going to draw the eye line like you see here so next guys as you can see right here we're going to draw this shape as you can see it curves a little bit okay this gives it this uh, almost cigar shape as you can see here and just draw it just like the way I'm showing you around the guidelines next up we're gonna have another circular line going down and connecting to the bottom of the cigar and as you can see now we're starting to get a little bit of a pumpkin structure now guys what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same exact thing after cleaning up all the lines as you can see here go ahead and clean up all your lines and do the same exact thing on the opposite side this will finish your pumpkin shape all right guys so right up here we're gonna draw the pumpkin I'm not sure what you call this thing guys but we're gonna draw this thing right here and let me know in the comment section below what this is called okay not really sure So guys, the next thing what we're going to draw is triangular eyes, as you can see right here. And the nose also is a triangle, just like this. But make sure, guys, they're all the same size. Nothing should be bigger than anything else. Just use your eyes, you know, get a good analysis of how the eye triangle looks all right next up so the mouth we're gonna draw a straight line just like this under the nose of the jack-o-lantern so guys as you can see here we're kind of drawing another rectangular shape and now it's going straight just like this what you see and then it comes right back up and this is kind of his mouth or his teeth of the jack-o-lantern and guys maybe next year i'll show you how to carve one up so as you can see here the line goes all the way up okay and then it comes all the way down as you can see right here try to keep all the lines symmetrical and as you can see the pumpkins lines right help with keeping everything in symmetry as you can see here go ahead and draw another square shape going up and now we have a mouth so a lot of kids out there will enjoy drawing this this will be very easy for them this is a very easy drawing okay so the next thing guys is okay guys so the next thing is 
we're gonna start erasing the guidelines okay guys so once you're done erasing the guidelines start drawing this three-dimensional line in the nose and this is how we do it for the eyes as you can see here this is how we draw three-dimensional eyes and nose so it gives it that 3d look what we're looking for in the jack-o-lantern same thing for the mouth as you can see here it'll end at the square protruding up as you can see and now we're going to have this square 3 shape going backwards and then we have this shape right here and finally the teeth of the jack-o-lantern are also going back backwards like this so now it looks three-dimensional guys now as you know a jack-o-lantern or pumpkin has many many more lines just like this so we're gonna add a little bit of structure and more easy to follow lines they are broken lines so go ahead and add more broken lines and this will add structure to your drawing and will make it look more three-dimensional you can skip this step if you're an absolute beginner but please do add this step it is quite simple this is all you must do add broken lines that are thinner than the actual surface lines that are circular that we started with and the same is done in the front of the face as you can see broken lines and you can add tons of more broken lines if this is just going to be a pencil art and then you can do shading accordingly but we will be as you can see inking this drawing so let's begin so guys i decided to use a thicker marker 0 0.5 instead of 0 0.3 it's a little too thin i wanted to be a little bit more extra dark lines so as you can see here I'm going to go ahead and ink the entire drawing now. So guys, we're going to go ahead and ink all the broken lines as well with a slightly thinner marker, 0.3 and we're gonna go ahead and finish inking the entire jack-o-lantern go ahead and erase your drawing clean it up so we can bring it for the next step and that will be coloring so guys I have ran out of my light orange Copic marker so I'm using the same color that is a color pencil it won't have the same 3d effect that a Copic marker can give me but I'm just going to make do with what I have for now till I get the refill Okay guys, so finally as you can see here, we will use the darker orange to color the bottom. But as you move to the top, there is light reflecting off the jack-o-lantern. So therefore, you will color in such a way, as you can see in the drawing, and you get the gist of it. This will show light reflecting off certain parts of the jack-o-lantern, giving it a 3D effect okay guys so the next color we're using is a golden yellow to color the part of the jack-o-lantern that is going inwards towards 
the jack-o'-lantern of course where the light is going to be so we color it gold and yellow finally so guys we're going to use the next color is going to be green light green and we're going to color the top of the jack-o'-lantern still don't know what it's called that part you can let me know in the comment section below if you're still watching i'm too lazy to look it up right now on google finally guys we're going to color the inside part where the light is because you know people put a candle inside the jack o lantern so we're going to color it dark yellow okay guys so that's all i have for you today an easy drawing that should take you no less than 30 minutes to finish so if you like this video do share like comment and subscribe and if you really like it hit the bell notification button more videos to come so it's been your boy ninja king until next time see you later